Another cruise ship has run aground in the Arctic. Hi, I'm Peter Zierbrowski with Halifax Shipping News, and on Monday, the MS Ocean Explorer, a 104-meter-long cruise ship carrying 206 persons, grounded in the Alps Fjord in the Northeast Greenland National Park. The ship is operated by Aurora Expeditions, who indicated that there was no immediate danger to life or the environment. The ship attempted to refloat itself on two consecutive high tides and failed. Yesterday on Tuesday, the Sirius Sled Dog Patrol, which is a Danish naval unit, uh, made contact with the ship and is currently on sea. The closest naval vessel is Danish Navy Kundrasmussen, which is uh, 1,200 nautical miles away. Uh, it is making its way to the scene, but its ETA is Friday. Currently a Danish fisheries vessel is due later today and will attempt to pull the ship off at the next highest tide. Uh, Ocean Explorer and its sister ship Ocean Odyssey were built in China in 2001 to an Ulstein Expo design. The ship was originally constructed for Sunstone who owned six identical expedition vessels. Two of the vessels were chartered to Vantage Deluxe World Travel. It was a tour company out of Boston. That company declared bankruptcy at the end of June with over 170 million dollars owing 110 million of that was for trips paid for by passengers that were not delivered their assets were recently acquired by the Australian Aurora in August for about two million dollars more on this later uh, but once again we have another cruise ship aground in the Arctic and uh, rescue resources are far away. This sounds an awful lot like the uh, academic IAFE incident that happened in the uh, Canadian Arctic. Uh, and despite claims of no pollution, it turns out that the ship was heavily damaged in the grounding on the uh, rocky bottom. And there was, in fact, uh, some oily discharge into Arctic waters. So we'll see where this one goes. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Uh, there's going to be an update to this story for sure. Thanks for watching.